So we had to figure out a way that we could see if babies like a Bayesian learner could take, say, patterns of conditional probability or statistics in the world around them and use those patterns to figure out how the world around them worked. Um, so what we did to do this was to invent a very simple device, um, very low tech, doesn't cost very much. Um, and this is our basic lab mechanism. It's called a blicket detector. Um, and what it is is a machine that lights up and plays music when you put some things on it but not others, in particular when you put blickets on it. Um, uh, and what we can do with this very simple machine is we can show babies and young children patterns of probability, statistical patterns, connecting which block goes on when and whether or not the machine lights up, for example. And we can make these, as you'll see, pretty complicated. And then what we can do is just ask the children which one is a blicket. Or we can ask them, make the machine go. And we can see if they figured out the right kind of causal structure from this pattern of statistics without ever having to use words like causal structure or statistics. Um, and this is just part of a, a broader uh, line, a pretty amazing line of work that's shown that even eight-month-olds are capable of amazing unconscious statistical calculation. Let me just tell you about one recent experiment from my lab. Um, and what we did was we took our blicket detector and we actually made the blicket detector hooked up to a marble dispenser. This is actually a dog's treat and train, but instead of putting dog treats in, what we do is put marbles in. Um, and the children see that there are two blocks that could go on the detector, a red one and a blue one. When the red one goes on, the detector works and a marble comes out um, four out of six times. Um, the blue one also works four times, but it doesn't work eight times. So even though you see the same positive association between the four times the red one goes on and the four times that the marble comes on, if you were actually doing the math and working out the conditional probabilities, you would say, oh no, the red one is going to be a more effective cause than the blue one, right? Um, and I wouldn't be telling you this if I didn't say that we did this with 24-month-olds. So these are little babies just sort of walking and talking. Um, and what we discovered was that um, the four-month-olds uh, would actually choose the red block. Obviously, we counterbalance red and blue. They would choose the block that was more effective based on its probabilities, even though the absolute numbers were the same. Um, so the 24-month-olds already seem to be sensitive to this fact that if there's a higher conditional probability of effect given the cause, then that means that it's a stronger cause. And if you want the machine to work, you should choose that cause rather than the other cause. So they already seem to be essentially inferring causality from correlation, one of the things that's most important and fundamental and basic to, uh, to doing science. 